Go to the layer menu in Infinity Photo and New Layer. Then go to the Gradient tool and then just add a gradient. And I'm just going white to black and I'm just dragging down, holding the shift and it's in linear. Then I can go to Filters and Distort and Fine. Now Fine has got Scale, Scale there, Offset, etc. And I can set that one, Scale Y, that's what I'm going to set. You could set it to 25%. The minimum is 10%. It would be nice if it was like 0.1% or something, but unfortunately the minimum is 10%. Set it to 25. Makes it easier, because when you re repeat it, then it's not so extreme. So again, you go for wrap, or you can go for mirror. You might think mirror looks nicer actually. It's a nice smooth gradient. And click apply. And then you go to filters and repeat a fine. Just go up here and you can apply it again to get even more intense gradient lines like that. You can also go again. That's why I went for 25%. If you go for 10%, it becomes very, very thin, very quickly. And it's, I think it's a bit more controlled at 25%. And of course, you can apply it at different angles. You don't have to play, maybe it's 60 degrees. I think that looks about 60 degrees. There's no actual indicator saying it's 60, but I think that's about it. Again, filters, and this time I'm just gonna use repeat. That's just easier, but you can always go, of course, back to distort and fine. And again, using mirror and 25%, I think it's a nicer setting. You can this time create sort of more like effects lines that you get in sort of like manga books, manga comics. And again, you might think, you know, that's perfect, but you can change the angle again and you can change it, apply again, try again, just see what works best. Reposition it. You might think, oh, that's just too much white over there. Just drag it across position it slightly differently, and then you get a different result. So again, filters repeat, and you can see the result this time. Less white, more black over this side. Again, whatever you want. But you can also go up here. Go, it's got linear there, you of course can go for any other thing as well, radial. You can click there, and you can change the gradient. So I'm just gonna click there, add some color. So maybe go for pink. Now, not particularly probably uh, a manga comic thing, of course, being in black and white generally. <laughs> So uh, I'm just gonna go for something like that. Green, and you've got some colors there. And again, using exactly the same settings, repeat fine, just apply again. And this time obviously you've got that very intense line design like, and you can go push it maybe as far as that, probably a bit too much. But once you've got that, you can always go to filters and distort and deform. And this time, you can just add some handles across here and then put them where you want, just manipulate the design. And you can then move this like that. And you get really nice wavy designs or maybe these sort of circular designs. Just vary it. Maybe this one's a bit intense actually. I think that's probably, but you can create all kinds of wavy designs with those lines like that and click apply. And of course what you can do, you can always go repeat, deform and try out and see what created from that. Hope you found this of interest. Thank you much.